Bert and Peter Jan from Wur, and instead of playing live for you in the American Folklife Center at the Library of Congress in Washington DC, we're coming to you from Mechelen. Mechelen is a city in the northern part of Belgium, in Flanders, the region where we speak Dutch. And uh, the first tune you have heard today was uh, Ketting, which is Dutch for a chain. It's a mashup of two traditional tunes found in a book in Antwerp, but actually they're known all over Belgium. And uh, we will continue with another one called Les Jolies Filles, uh, found in a book in Leuven, some city name dropping. Uh, and Leuven is uh, right to Brussels. And the tune is called Les Jolies Filles, which is French for the beautiful girls. <laughs>
We're going to continue with a melody from uh, the southern part of Belgium, from Wallonia. That's the name of the region where everyone speaks French. It's a, a melody from a manuscript of a musician that was called Van den Bril. Uh, it's number 86 of this manuscript. And when we first uh, rehearsed the arrangement to this uh, traditional tune, um, we were in England for uh, some concerts and um, at that moment there were a lot of student protests for a better climate or against uh, climate change and uh, because we support their actions uh, we said okay let's call it uh, the climate march. Today we present you music from our latest album that's called About Towers. We have recorded this album in 2020 and we're happy to present this music to you today. Um, the CD, the album is called About Towers because most of the melodies we have found for this album are traditional uh, songs or uh, melodies from Carolian manuscripts. So bell tower musicians where professional musicians wrote down their favorite tunes or the favorite tunes of their audience, which is the audience downstairs at the marketplaces. So we, we call this uh, bell tower music actually the radio of its time. We contacted the current Carolyn player of Mechelen, Dina Verheyen, and first you will hear her uh, perform the next song, which is Bayard, and then you will hear our version.
Originally, the concert at uh, the American Folklife Center at the Library of Congress was part of our tour, um, but now we're doing it virtually. But we have good news. In November of this year, we're coming to the US for a tour. We do a concert in Louisiana. We play some concerts in Montana, and then we go to Wisconsin, and we end up in Boston. The exact dates um, and locations you will find on our website, www.wearewer.com. And last time we traveled oceans, it was to Australia, where we performed also this piece uh, on the National Folk Festival in Canberra. And when Fabio, the baritone saxophone player of our band, work, uh, presented it as VB71, the audience started to laugh. We didn't know why actually, but apparently, they thought we made a silly beer Belgian joke uh, because Victoria Bitter is one of uh, Australia's most popular beers. But nothing to do with beer, it's uh, about a tune number 71 of the manuscript of Petrus van Belle. <laughs>
Dina Verheden performed for you a piece from uh, Fiocco. It was an adagio and Fiocco was a composer from the 18th century. And his uh, melodies and compositions can be found also in the Carrion books that we use uh, to select uh, our music that we use with uh, our band Wurg. And uh, Dina, can you tell us a bit more about this uh, beautiful instrument? Yes, I would be happy to. This is called a carillon. It's an instrument that exists already for five centuries and is quite common in these regions, so that's to say Belgium and also Mechelen, which can be called the capital of the carillon, actually. There are several carillons in this city and there's also a very nice carillon school where students from all over the world gather to learn how to play the carillon. And I, as a kid, I was born here in Mechelen and as a kid I already heard a lot of these nice bell sounds in the city. So I'm very happy that I could go to this Royal Carillon School and learn how to play the instrument. And I'm also happy there to be a teacher now. So I'm the teacher of the, the Carillon School and learn students from all over the world how to play. I will also explain you a little bit how this works. It's a little bit like a very big piano. So here are the white keys and these are the black keys. Um, and if you play, there is a connection to a clapper, which goes, which hangs inside of a bell. So if you move the clapper, you hear the bell sound. For every different note, there is a different size of a bell. So these are the very small bells, and down in the pedal, there are the lower bells and the, the heavier bells. Actually, this is a very small carillon. Um, because it's it's down here, it's a mobile carillon, a very recent instrument. But in the big tower, the historical tower here in Mechelen, there is a huge instrument of more than 40 tons of bronze. bronze. So there are very different sizes of carillons. And uh, the carillon players, they performed for all the people in the markets. They performed uh, pieces that the people already knew, traditional songs. But also they took the more popular uh, classical music of their time. And so uh, Dina will also perform another piece uh, from Scarlatti. We'll continue this concert with a minuet from Antwerp. It's a tune very popular by uh, bagpipe players. I played bagpipes. It's uh, called the Flemish bagpipes or the Brugel pipes, since it's a bagpipe that you can find a lot on paintings of famous painter Pieter Brugel, who worked between Amsterdam and Brussels. So it's uh, bagpipes of the lowlands. And we will continue in this set with Quand on est bien amoureux, which is French for when we are pretty much in love. So, enjoy! <laughs>
So we have arrived at the last track of our album, which will also be the last track of this concert. The name of the song is Sicilia. The full title is Exact Sicilia Komen. We found several versions in several manuscripts on several locations in our region. Um, and we interpreted the song pretty freely, um, since it was clearly a big hit in that, at that time. And the song is actually about Cecilia, a girl walking at the riverside, seeing at the other side of the river a shepherd called uh, Florian, where she is uh, in love with and good for her and him. At the end of the couplet, they kiss. We wish to thank you to be here today, to listening to our concert. Also, thank you for the invitation uh, to make this uh, concert today for you. And I hope to see you in the future somewhere. Thank you, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this concert. And if you want to listen more of us, you can check our website, you can check all our live dates, and you can check us on Spotify, Facebook, Tinder, uh, WhatsApp, everything there is, we're on it. We hope to see you in person in the near future. Thank you. <laughs>